only way to create change is to speak out. It's important to celebrate us. Um, we are beautiful, we are strong, and we are capable. So why not have the whole world celebrate that with us? Thank you so much, both of you all, for joining again. And thank you for taking part in International Day of the Girl. You know, that's a big part of care. And we love to celebrate, you know, girls all over the world like you all. You both had a virtual tour with us back in June. Talk about your reflection. What did you think about the, the virtual tour? What did you learn from it? And, you know, we'll start with you, Sanaya, and then we'll go to you, Stevia, okay? Okay. Oh, my goodness. It was so exciting. And it was something that I was... So excited to do, especially with Stevia and I just couldn't wait. Um, it's important to speak loud and have our voices heard as young women, especially in this world. So getting to do that for a lot of girls around the world meant everything to me. That's amazing. What about you, Stevia? What did you like about the, the virtual tour in June? Um, to me, that trip was so wonderful. I learned more things and I became a long model to my to my fellow students when I, when I went back to my school. I taught them many things that are in here and I'm so glad for that. Wonderful, wonderful. Since June, what has happened for you? What are, what are you thinking about? What are, what's going on in your life? Oh my goodness, auditioning and working and uh, a lot of things are in the works, starting school, learning new things, growing as a, a young woman. Certain things like that, you know, junior year and um, driving. <laughs> That's so cool. Sevia, what's happening? What's what's going on since June? What have you been doing? I know you were saying that you were excited to see your friends. Now we are on holiday, but the camp I have, have also supported us with summer camp. So <laughs> as of now, we are learning. That will help us to make it during our final exams. What is the role of girls shaping their own futures? What do you think that girls can do um, to shape their own futures? For me, I think that I reach out to my sister a lot because my sister's older than me. So finding somebody that maybe be older than you and um, you can have them as a mentor and as a guide. Absolutely. I love that. What about you, Stevia? What do you think that girls can do to shape their own future? I remember you were talking about you wanted to be a surgeon. You were, <laughs> saying, you were saying that you really wanted to study hard for that. What do you think that they could do to shape their own future? Okay. Our law is just to work hard on our education so that we can do better. And we should speak out every change we are facing so that we can fight against them during our education. Why is it important that girls speak for themselves, Sanaya? Why do you think that's important? I think it's important because sometimes as young women, a lot of people not necessarily hear us or um, some, some young girls that I know, friends that I've reached out to, they feel afraid to kind of, have their voices heard. So I think it's important for us to feel comfortable with it and to know what we're saying is very important. And the only way to create change is to speak out. So it's very important to have the courage and um, feel powerful enough to say, hey, this is how I feel and I want you to hear me. That's, that's so powerful. The only way to create change is to speak out. That's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> Stevia, what about you? Why is it important for girls to speak for themselves? It is important because the girls that the ones who know the problems and that the ones who express those problems, so they should be the ones who can speak out because they're the ones who had the experience of those problems. I love that too. That's also a quote. Listen, now these are going to be my Twitter quotes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel are the biggest barriers for girls where you live? I think, um, especially now more than ever, being able to have their own decision to do what they need to do to take care of themselves when it comes to sexual health, um, you know, having, um, feeling comfortable within our own skin and our own bodies. Um, 
I think that's something that is a very big factor right now that's going on in our world that I think a lot of long women like myself, a lot of us don't know what to do and it can be scary at times. Also, when it comes to being a young Black woman, there are certain things and certain standards that are respected of us and that aren't, that I think um, it's time for a change and we are growing as a society still, but I think um, it's important for young girls like us to make sure that the change happens. So I think just finding a way for us to finally feel somewhat comfortable and continue to do that for the other generations. I love that. Stevia, what about you in Malawi? What are some barriers um, or some challenges that you think girls have to deal with where you live? Um, the biggest barrier to we girls in Malawi is lack of resources to use in schools. Um, other parents are very poor that cannot afford and manage to buy our resources to use in schools. As it said, we're just saying because of poverty to our parents. Yeah. You know, based on your answer, Sanaya, how do you think that we can overcome those barriers? And, you know, you have a big voice, you have a big platform. How do you, what do you think that you could do, you know, to help overcome those barriers? Believing in oneself is very important. Um, now using like social media platforms to be able to, you know, speak out and talk about what we care about and what's important to us. And um, I don't know, like just continue to educate ourselves. Like Stevia said, education is very important. I love that. So back to you, Stevia, based on your answer, what do you think that you could do? How can you use your voice to overcome those barriers for girls like yourself in Malawi? I think we can convince the government, including the NGOs and other organizations that help we girls to fight against our challenges uh, and convincing the decision makers so that they can promote their rules that can respect a girl child. So they could respect, yes, I agree. What gives you hope for the future, Sanaya? <laughs> what gives me hope? I think my young friends and my young cousins, they're so beautiful and I, I love how they look at the world, even all that's going on, they still have hope within themselves. So that's, a, I think that's what keeps me going the most. I don't know, I just love how important it is to so many young women to so, you know, I want to be the next, you know, first woman president. I'm like, oh, well, this Kamala Harris is going to do that. And then you can do that next. <laughs> um, the fact that young girls out there feel like they can do whatever they want to do still is so very important. That shows me that we're going to be just fine. Yes. What about you, Stevia? What gives you hope? Um, to me, it's cool. As I already said that at first, that education is important. Education is the best. So just we can to have a better future. Okay, I love that education. Y'all are so smart. <laughs> <Y'all> <laughs> say, education, education, education. I love it. How does care help girls around the world, Sanaya? How do you see care helping girls around the world? Care is always so beautiful. I always love um, checking in and making sure everything is great. And um, whenever I come and see what CARE is doing, I always see how happy and appreciative young women are to be able to say, you know what, I get to come here and talk about my worries and what I want to do and my hopes and dreams. So it gives girls a way to, I don't know, speak out and feel comfortable speaking out. And I think that's so very important. It's not just here in the United States, it's around the world. So I think, you know, I get to talk to people and reach out to people that I never thought I would be able to talk to. But I think it's really beautiful. It's so cool. And it, like you, like it's educational. It is because um, I don't know, you feel empowered. Whenever I come to care, I always feel empowered and hope other women feel like that too. I definitely see it. And you're our new GAC member too. <laughs> We're super happy. Sanaya, what do you aspire to do with your future? I think just continue to create art. And um, again, there's so many young girls that I've met that I've been thankful to meet that have 
wanted to um, do what I do. So just to continue to inspire and continue to go with care and help other organizations to and I'll grow the platform for young girls. I want to con- con- continue to do that. I love it. Stevia, what do you aspire to, to do with your future? I want to be a surgery doctor. I want to help my parents and my brothers and sisters, including my friends and my community in terms of medication. I love it. My last question, and I think this is the most important question that I'm going to ask you both, is why is International Day of the Girl important? International Day of the Girl is important because it's another day for us to celebrate who we are and to feel special within our own selves. It's important to celebrate us. Um, We are beautiful, we are strong, and we are capable. So why not have the whole world celebrate that with us? I love it. Uh, Stevia, why do you think that International Day of the Girl is important? This empowers all girl child across the world to be free from any harm and they can speak out every barrier they are facing in each and every day life. Wonderful. That's all of my questions, but I just want to give a little bit of, um, you know, opportunity if you both have any, you know, questions that you had for each other. What's been important for you and what have you been doing to continue to grow as a woman, Stevia? To me, I have a lot of role models that would fit me to be a wonderful mother. So when I saw those role models, they just would fit me to become a wonderful mother. I love that. <laughs> Stevia, do you have any questions for Sanaya before we, before we wrap? It's not a question, actually, but I I just want your advice on my education so that I should have something in my heart that can make me to work hard. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. I just continue to believe in yourself. And also education is really important. And to continue to surround yourself with people that are going to motivate you to keep going, like your friends. Your friends are going to be one of your biggest supporters because they love you and just to trust in each other because you guys are going to do great no matter what. I love that. You're going to do great no matter what, like you both are. Well, thank you so much. You two are going to be just, you know, lead the way for for girls everywhere. So we're really excited and and we're really grateful that you both took time uh, to do this. So thank Thank you. you. Yes, thank you. Both. I'll miss you, Sanaya. Oh, I miss you too. I hope to see you one day soon. <laughs> I think we'll meet. <laughs> we will. We definitely will.